we've got to talk about Akudama Drive. You see, the thing with genre is that it appeals to humanity's greatest abilities, pattern recognition and inductive reasoning. It's the reason we can guess what's about to happen or who the secret villain of a show is. We've watched so many shows and movies that are created using the same building blocks that the shows we watch become familiar and have a predictive quality to them. Filmmakers spend copious amounts of time subverting the modes of genres to create unforeseen twists and turns. This show, however, doesn't waste its time with originality for originality's sake. It leans into its shown in cyberpunk roots and uses genre to create blinkers for the audience. It hijacks our familiarity in order to show us a masterclass in world building and character depth. It allows itself to operate two-dimensionally to provide a three-dimensional experience that builds an appealing and functional universe, has us in awe of their fight scenes, feeling sympathy for all their characters and contemplating the nature of justice all in 12 episodes. And that's why. <laughs>